What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player guide for the Club Selection Volume 2 Championship Pack. And today we're going to be looking at one of my favourite players, Goretzka. Now, this guy has been a little bit disappointing for me because of his player form. Usually I would play him um, as my main centre midfielder. I've got different versions of him. I've got multiple versions of him, I should say. I probably have every other version of him in the game apart from this one. So I am tempted to spin for him because I do think this card is a monster. Like, I do think with the range of skills that he has, his, his base stats... Um, the one thing that was always an issue for him was his stamina and I think that's kind of more of an issue with this card but we'll get into that in a second how this card is a little bit better but look you have a wavering form you've also got player skills such as uh, long range shooting heel trick one touch pass and interception so that's very impressive I think that that's something that you should got you, you lads should definitely look at if you are looking for a guide on this guy I think I've cracked two unreal builds of him right i have played literally played about 100 games with goretzka in my midfield he's got me to division one in my squad three to four times into division one and up to division two he's just always been really really good for me i'll probably have him on my bench for thursday stream as well because he's always in the right area at the right time he's able to finish chances at the end of the box and some of the stats that he looks bad on don't really matter on the pitch right so we're going to get into that in just a second but first, we're going to actually take a look on eFootballDB, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about, right? So, with this version of the card, right, he goes to 95 overall. But his base card is going to be 85 overall, but it's got 25 levels. Now, this marvelous midfielders pack uh, card that they released was 85 overall with 25 levels as well. But I do think that there is a key difference between these guys that still makes me believe that this marvelous midfielders version of him is, is probably the best, right? Uh, like you can train players as best as you can right but at the end of the day there is always going to be slightly uh different variations between the cards you also see the Bayern Munich pack here um he's got 23 levels but he's got better passing than this card so it is kind of pick your poison the standard card is still very solid as well with 29 levels but I do think that this is probably one of the better the better cards out there and I would say if you're looking for one of the most complete you know box to box like this guy does everything he literally defends in your box and he attacks in the opponent's box he's one of the best i would say there him and barella barella happens to be the next player up on this guide as well this guide series so how are we going to train him well firstly we are going to take a look at offense at an offensive build for goretzka so we've gone for eight across the board here for pass and dribbling and dexterity. If you're in doubt, just go eight, lads. Keep it in, in, in intervals or increments of four, eight, and 12. They're my key tips for training up players. Um, and then lower body strength and defending six and four. So this is kind of an all-round version of him. If you, if you saw my Casemiro uh, build, I think you need to have two versions of a center mid or a DMF, depending on how your play style is. Like... There's no point me making a defensive-minded Goretzka if I have got Makalele, Edgar Davids, Patrick Vieira, and Casemiro on my bench or in my reserves. You know what I mean? Like, I want to look for something different. Similarly, there's no point having a really attack-based, offensive-based Goretzka and train him up that way if I've got Pedri, Modric, um, you know, Chouamene, uh, whoever I want to have bringing the ball forward. Enzo Fernandez, anybody like that, you know, Rijkaard, any of those guys... Um, that will be in that position so train him as he fits into your squad that's the best tips that i can go for but that is the guide for the attack build you've got you know everything in the 80s in attack you've got 83 tackling even though you're not you know training defensively and you've got 80 speed with 83 stamina probably need to sub him after the 70 70 minute mark um which isn't a big issue because he will be dead on his feet with the amount of energy that he kind of puts out there with his play style and his ai but he is going to be a dominant player for you in the middle of the pitch, otherwise 95 overall. The next version of him is probably a better version of him if you are looking for that defensive-minded Goretzka. He only goes to a 94 overall. His passing and his dribbling aren't um, kind of where they need to be to be kind of like the meta if you are playing a lot of quick passing and you lot, a lot of quick counter, a long ball counter, but he does have one-touch pass, so that kind of overcompensates for that. And on top of that, we have got a little bit into dexterity and lower body as well there. Even though we were, you know, going to focus solely on defending with 11 into defending to bring the tackling up to 90. What you're going to want to be doing with this Goretzka, lads, is having a really good anchor man or a really good defensive midfielder that's able to spray the ball around and break up the play. So somebody like Tonali, somebody like Busquets, Rodri, Fabinho, uh, Casemiro, or else, you know, uh, Davids or Makalele or somebody like that. That's like that anchorman role. And then, you know, Goretzka is just literally going to be just like 
covering every blade of grass Michael Essien style. That's kind of how he's going to do it. Every blade of grass, you're going to be tra- tracking, chasing, blocking, everything. Because he has got interception and fighting spirit, that's kind of what you really need to highlight there with this defensive build. So that is it for a Goretzka build, lads. Let me know what you guys think if you're going to spin or skip with this pack, and I'll talk to you in a bit.